Lucas here. Uh, Wellbeing Wednesday challenge this week. Part of the great dream is emotions. Um, dream, the E in dream is emotions. And it's about looking for the good and taking the positive outlook. And this book is about a growth mindset. Um, and the story's called I Can't Do That Yet. It's bedtime, Ina. Ina loves all kinds of times. Free time, play time, cookie time, and even brushing teeth time. Bedtime is the time that Ina doesn't like so much, but everybody knows that before bedtime comes story time. And Ina loves story time. Ina's dad asked her to read a story to the first page. Like every evening, Ina responded, I can't do that. Halfway through the story, Baxter crawled into the bed. Her dad pretended that he didn't notice. Ina couldn't remember the end of the story. She must have fallen asleep, but suddenly she wasn't in her bed anymore. She looked around and saw a woman. The woman was a tall with long brown hair and glasses. Ina had the feeling she knew her. Somehow she must have met her before. Finally, you're here. I was waiting for you all day long, said the woman. Let me show you what we've done. The woman smiled and took Ina by the hand. Look, Ina, this is our office. We usually arrive here at around nine o'clock in the morning. The team we work with is awesome. We've hired a bunch of really creative, smart people. Everybody works together and we lead the technical department. Ina could tell that the woman was so excited. But she had no idea what she was talking about. She didn't want to interrupt her, but she didn't understand why the woman kept saying we. Ina had never been here before, and why did the woman look so familiar? Yesterday was a crazy day. The servers went down and everybody was worried. At first we couldn't find the problem in the code. Our web page wasn't showing anything, but unfortunately, but fortunately we were able to fix it just in just 20 minutes. Ina was confused. She didn't know what servers were or why they were so important. But she was glad that the woman was able to fix the problem. Then the woman took Ina to a desk where she turned on the computer and started writing something on the green background. Ina, I'm going to take a break. Can you finish the work? The rest of it for me. I can't do that. The woman started laughing. Really? The woman started the woman started laughing again, and Ina thought that was really mean. But her laugh was so contagious that she eventually started to laugh too. Suddenly the woman got up and went to the fridge. She put celery sticks in a jar of peanut butter on the counter, and slowly the woman started to put a celery stick directly into the jar. Ina's mum had always told Ina to use a fork instead of putting the celery directly into the jar, but the woman didn't seem to care. Ina couldn't Still couldn't remember the woman's name, so she asked, Are you telling me all these things, but I don't even know your name? The woman asked Ina in the, looked at Ina in the eyes and said, I'm you and you are me. But that's not possible. How can one person also be another person? The woman stood up from her chair and whispered, My name is Ina and I'm a possible version of you in the future. The only thing different about you and me is time. Ina was confused. That can't be true. I don't even know what you're talking about. Server code? I can't do any of that. You can't do that, Ina. You can't do that yet. Because you haven't had the time that I've had. When we were 16, we started to learn computer programming and, th and made this little game. And everything went, went from there. You really wanted this. And so you created me, just like you created this game. But I don't remember any of that. How could you? This is the future. If you want this, it could be your future. Ina couldn't believe what she had just heard. How could all of this be possible? She wasn't like this woman at all, but maybe she could really, she really could be like her. This seemed exciting. Ina had so many thoughts at once that she wasn't able to say anything. The woman said that Ina could be her if she wanted. But what if she didn't want to be her? Ina didn't want to hurt her older self's feelings, so she didn't say anything. Ina told, Ina's older self looked at her and gently said, You don't need to say anything. I know exactly how you feel. I want you to meet a few people before you, have, before you go. All of them care very much about you. 
With these words, she opened the door wide and Ina could see what was inside. The room was full of Enas. There were so many Enas that she didn't know which one to focus on first. Each one seemed different, but at the same time, familiar. No one seemed to notice it, Lena. She wished she was able to stay forever and to meet every single one of them. Just then, she finally had the courage to step into the room full of Enas. The door closed. Suddenly, Ina's feet started to feel wet. She heard a voice from far away. The voice told her that she had to go now. Then she heard her older self telling her one last thing. We are always inside you, even when you don't see, feel or know it. Ina felt Baxter licking her feet and quickly realised that she was back in her bed. She got up right away and told her dad, I want to read the first page tonight. With, with a little time, I'll get it right. I just can't do it yet. I can't do that yet.